AI is omnipresent, but it's time to see it in action. Come follow me around. Jakob, I really enjoy how you bring automation to life. I also loved how you use the natural movement of the butterflies here. Um, but I mean, coming from butterflies, what are the real use cases here? Festo has great technology. Yeah. We have a lot of innovative new technology, yes. like AI for yeah. doing predictive maintenance, for instance. Yeah. However, just having the technology and throwing it over the fence into a production is not getting the results. We need to empower people, we need to train people as well yeah. on how to use this technology. Absolutely. And uh, I think in this combination, great technology and great technical education, we can actually gain, uh, or can actually create a value to the world, to the customers. And people also trust 80% technology they can experiment with. So I think this is something, how, how you can make tech accessible, right? Oh, absolutely. Uh, it has to be tangible. Yes. We need to explain it and everyone has to try it out themselves to get confident and to know where to use it and where it can create maximum value. So if you could finish that sentence, um, like the future of manufacturing with Vesto is? Awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Second stop, AWS. Steve, what is the magic around AI agents? Yeah, so really within the manufacturing space, we're seeing this shortage of labor or skill. Yeah. And what we're trying to showcase here at AWS's booth is how AI, and more specifically Gen AI, can actually help manufacturers address kind of this shortage of skilled labor, yeah. and how agents can actually be used to kind of automate processes as things like you know production order scheduling or around kind of predictive maintenance. How do you look at the future of manufacturing? What is AWS bringing to the table? Yeah, so we really see kind of us as the you know foundation to kind of enable manufacturers to get real you know value from their data. Yeah. So everything from you know bringing their data in from all their the legacy systems into the cloud, being able to visualize that data in real time, and then actually then use that data through insights through machine yeah. learning. AI, and specifically Gen AI, to drive kind of business value. And that's across the whole of the value chain. So may I ask you to finish the sentence? The future factory with AWS is? Software defined. Great, thank you so much. Thank you. Next up, Siemens. Or I see a lot of simulations here at your booth. Why is that so important? So only if we simulate, we can optimize. Yes. And that's why Siemens is so focused on putting as much into simulation as possible. That starts actually at the product design, right? Yeah. When we design a product, let's simulate it, let's make it better. But also how we produce it yes. gets simulated even before we start to build a production line, for example, yeah. or to optimize a production line. Yeah. And AI is playing a crucial role in uh, optimizing and also finding out how you can make processes smarter. Yes. Uh, what are the most interesting examples you have? You can use AI to, to accelerate simulation a lot, which yeah. helps. Yeah. And then, of course, we have shop floor applications like helping workers to work better with machines. Yeah also to automate very, very repetitive uh, tasks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, robotic, for example, is a great example. To use it in machine vision yeah. to avoid waste. Yeah. So all of these applications are really benefiting a lot from industrial AI. Yeah. And what is, what is the human role in all that? Being the creators, being the ones, the ingeniuses, yes. who make it work and make it happen and optimize and, and make things better. Can you finish the sentence, the future of manufacturing with Siemens is? Optimized by simulation. The future of manufacturing is highly connected, smart, sustainable, and it remains human. Don't miss Hannover Messe 2025. See you soon.